Let's All right, let's roll. Match report. Let's hit it. All right, I'm on, I'm on Mark. No. All right, everybody, welcome to the Dinged Up Podcast. I am your host, host Jacoby Wheelhouse, with the most. <laughs> my to my right is DC Dustin Connell, and to my left, MBJ. He's eating pomegranates. He's on the pomegranate bag. Hey, I, I didn't know this. You eat pomegranates like cereal, like timeout. All my life, my nanny had a pomegranate tree behind her house. Yeah. I would go back there. I would peel the pomegranate. I would chew on a pomegranate. I spit every seed mm -hmm. out. I just do it for the mm -mm. taste. Mm -mm. You're eating the seeds like cereal. Very like little baby berries, bro. Big dog, this is not Captain Crunch. <laughs> this is not. Let me tell you something. I made a post on IG. Like two months ago. Okay. Because I peeled a pomegranate and I pick all the berries out. That's like all I did all my whole life, right? You, you peel it, you pick the berries out. Mm -hmm. I got like 100 DMs. You're doing it wrong. You Eat it wrong. like an apple. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, long story short, Lurch. Shout out Lurch, bro. Lurch hit me up, sent me a Pinterest link. I, oh, Pinterest works out. Hey, I pulled him up. Changed my life, bro. Changed your life. Eating you just hit him with a, you cut him in half, hit him with a spatula. All the berries fall out into the bowl. You got one big giant bowl of just berries, and you just eat them. What a life! Unbelievable. Okay, that's what. So I'm meanwhile, so meanwhile, <laughs> we are back. 2023 season. We back, baby. Hey, it's here. Welcome back. Hey, hey first great. stop, Lake Tahoe, Tahoe Kalija, or Lake. the Kissimmee Chain. What a life. What, what what a lake? What do you call it? Toho. I just call it Toho because I can't. Hey, I think it. I think it is Toho Tohoka Palija. No. I'll Tohoka talk Palija. about it today. Tohoka Palija. Kalija. I think it is Tohoka Kalija. Sound right? I don't know. Comment I'm below. Let us sure know. Or it is Tohoka Tohoka Kalija. Okay. But they call it Toho for sure because nobody can actually pronounce it. There we go. That's that's that's, that's, that's what actually what it is. is. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Everybody else can't nobody like, say that. Second Toho. best. Uh, second worst lake in Florida. What's number one? Hey, let's talk about this real quick here. <laughs> <laughs> number one's Kissimmee. <laughs> <laughs> the two we fishing. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> one and two. Uh, uh, what a line. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey welcome. <laughs> welcome back, boys. Here we go. Anyway. So this is the deal. All right, we're, we're going to preview the season through this 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 uh, this podcast, and then also we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the change. So, um, if you aren't up to to speed yet, we did change uh, the MLF changed the the format uh, to a scoring change and went from an every fish counts to five fish. So this year we will have a five fish limit, and the way it basically breaks down is. You have two two-day tournaments. So you have your basically your qualifying rounds. Um, all 40 guys fish, group A, group B, like it's always been. Then you go to knockout round, um, top 10 advance from the knockout round, five fish. So you go to zero once you hit to the knockout round. Top 10 qualify on to the two uh to the championship round, but that, that weight actually accumulates. So you have two two-day tournaments, basically, is what it is. So anyway, so Thoughts on that? Do you guys think? Um, all right. So thoughts on that. What do you guys think about? Is there going to be much change? You know, in your strategy going into this season with the Everfish Counts format now going to five fish. Well, here, don't look at me first. Open up the thing. Hey, I, I want to go on a rant first. Oh, oh time out! Don't get me on hey, a rant. You can't, hey. just, you can't just go, let's talk about the format change. And I'm holding the mic hey. like ludicrous. <laughs> hey, bro. Get out the way. Because hey. I, I low-key want to go on a rant. I, I just got somebody hold the mic. Go ahead. Because I, hey, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really get on social voice and all my opinions and what have you. Oh, I need to get, okay. I don't, I don't really, I, I ain't big on doing that, man. Like putting my dirty laundry out in the streets, right? Okay. Type type situation. But I ain't I ain't feeling the format change, man. I was pissed off about it. And uh yeah. and, I, and I wasn't happy about it, man. I think I think I think the league is taking a step backwards, man. But I'm trying to stay positive and and, and push through, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And 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 see the light at the end of the tunnel, man. But uh 
without going, I ain't gonna go crazy. I just, I was, I was against that, man. I was okay. anti going to five, bro. Well, here, here's my thing. Straight up. All right. So number one, uh, we fish for major league fishing. I here's where I'm at. We gotta run a business. Yeah, completely understand that. That's fine. But how many businesses? If you if you own a peach stand like in Chilton County, if you selling peaches, guess what? If peaches ain't selling, like, what you gonna do? Start selling strawberries the next day? <laughs> yeah, no, you gonna wait till you get another crop of peaches and then people okay. gonna like peaches again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah gonna I don't know what the back. best analogy for this. That might be a goofy one. Brody's back here laughing at me. But here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. There's been a lot of volatility and changes within our uh, professional fishing scene in a, yeah. in, 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 a, in a short amount of time. Uh, mm. I, BASS, a lot of guys vacated that. A, a lot of people left, this and that. We went back, and there's so much wishy-washy stuff. I just want everything stable again. Mm. Meanwhile, MLF, we, we've we changed uh Minimum weights. We've changed uh, two pound, one pound. Those cups are one pound. It's just a lot of confusion for me. <clears throat> and now, you know, we're going back to five fish, but here's the deal. The number one thing is to be relatable to our audience. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the change, though. I don't like, I don't like, I'm, I don't like us changing wishy washy. I love the Bass Pro Tour. But it has slowly became the banana peel tour. <laughs> Do not edit that. Don't edit that. Is that, is that what the B? Is that the acronym BPT? BPT banana peel tour. <laughs> I'm throwing them under the bus. Banana peel tour. Oh, Any please. minute they may. Right. Slip. Let's they might slip again. and do something up. Jacob's low key trying to edit me right now. <laughs> He's gonna cut this. I know he. Is. Nah, you gotta play hey, this, bro. I, I got it. But okay, this is the thing. Okay. Give it to all right, me. all right, all right, all right. Straight up. So you. So like this thing. If if I'm looking at my personal agenda in this scenario, okay. You Who's would saying? never change nothing. Heck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would right. never change. Yeah. My every fish counts format. Okay. Yeah. Because ultimately. I feel like that suits me better because I'm generating more bites than the majority of the field. I feel that way. I feel very confident about that. And, and, and I'm going to be straight up with you. I do feel like you're, it's easier, easier to separate yourself in an every fish counts format than it is a five fish format. Mm -hmm. There's not as much luck involved. Yeah. With generating, you're, you're dependent on a big bite in a five fish limit format. 100%. You know, like here, you're in Florida. If you do not, you could you could pitch a Cinco at pads all day long, and you catch 100 bass, and the guy next to you, he catches 10 bass, and he catches a 10-pounder, a 5-pounder, and all you caught is 2-pounders all day long. You have less than that guy does. Now, are you a better fisherman? I mean, hypothetically speaking, you were more dialed in, but you just never got the two big bites. Right. 100%. So that, that, that is a tough thing now. But that being said, something that was really interesting, I do not... I do think that relatability and being relatable to our fans is very important. Mm -hmm. And that was like, that's why I was so in the middle. And you guys have heard me talk about this on, 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 on the channel. Um, <clears throat> some, some people were like, man, you know, you want it, you want it to be keep it the same. But I do feel like that it was one and thing. That's the only thing about the change that I feel like is uh, valid, positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's valid though. I get it. One hundred. It, it, it's tough. We all grew up fishing for five our whole lives. We don't know nothing else, right? Just in the last four years, we went back to we went to every fish counts, right? Mm -hmm. All of our viewers have been continuing to fish for when they do compete in tournaments. Those that compete, they're fishing for five, right? Mm -hmm. So then when they see us, it's tougher for them to relate to that. When you got ninety five pounds and they're like, "What the heck's going on?" I get that. That's a valid part, a portion of that. But keep Never, in mind. nevertheless, though. I feel like what Major League Fishing introduced into the game and what they stood for and what they built their brand on was that format. Was that format. And that's what got us to the point where we're all at 100%. today. All right, number two. Okay, uh, hold on. Y'all keep in mind, I got to get this out. Oh, okay, go ahead. Me. Go ahead. <laughs> I've been right at that. Oh, right, God, just that. let me say it. All right, so keep in mind, guys, we're, we're do we made this change as, I wouldn't say we, the league. <laughs> No, okay. okay. The league to, be fair, to be fair, the Mitch, listen. To be fair, the anglers did vote 
you know, like very high, super majority for this. It was a super majority. It was, I was going to say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was gonna say 60 20. Like, like, it was literally it was like 75%. 75 percent okay now let me say this disclaimer for th for those anglers if you're watching in which y'all probably won't watch this here's where i'm at i can completely understand if you made a vote on a business perspective and a viewership perspective like hey we we need to relate to the viewers we need to we need to generate more sales this and that but if you strictly just did not like our format and you voted for that, I cannot justify that. I just can't. Mm -hmm. and, and like, here's my thing. I grew up catching five fish the same way everybody else did. Mm -hmm. But I, it's more of an identity. There's an identity change there. Right. And I, I'm not a fan of that. See, I, I, don't, I don't know. So, all right, this is something that I, I don't necessarily agree completely with that. But I, all right, so this is something that somebody brought up to me, and I want to bring this up to you guys. Do you think – this is this is very interesting – when MLF originally started Every Fish Counts format, mm -hmm. there was no forward-facing sonar. Do you think that forward-facing sonar was one of the biggest things that came along to change HFF Fly Fish? It changed the whole sport. It did. Everything. Right. Right. It did. Right. Everything. So but keep in mind, I want to so, so my whole thing is, is like, oh, if, this is if, a totally different if subject. Every fish, ca okay, listen, okay. So if, if forward fishing starter did not come along, do right. you feel like we would have still changed the every fish count format? That's what I'm saying. So because I feel like, and it's, do you feel like that would have happened? You just never know. I mean, it's hard to say. I, you know, probably. Keep in like, mind, I will not. say this as a disclaimer. Keep in mind, I'm sitting probably next to one of one of the best forward facing sonar guys on the planet this guy um <laughs> you won three tournaments last year yeah okay you won three you won three tournaments last year. i won <laughs> I three I when we were four what, what i'm saying is like there's always a, a i guess you would say there's always innovation in the sport yeah there's always we watched kevin win four freaking a he won two or three a year in a row yeah, he killed him. So, like, what are we going to do when Kevin wins three in a row get then? They were whining then. Right. Yeah, they did. But the, right. the, they didn't have any format to change to. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't have a format to change to. <laughs> they, no, they did. What? They changed the format to Major League Fishing. Major League Fishing. Now we're going to Congratulations. <laughs> you did we're it. blaming it on him. This okay. is so, 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 I, what, what so you're my, saying my is. My question is. Yeah. No, what I'm taking from it is basically. Forward facing sonar came about kind of basically in the middle of Major League Fishing. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then certain guys. Don't look at me. So I, dominated with forward facing sonar. And like you said, you can separate yourself a lot easier in Major League Fishing than you could with the five fish. You could yeah. generate so it, more. It body. puts more emphasis on going back to five for guys because it's like these guys are just running away with it and we can't keep up. Okay. So, this, so right? it's coupled. So it's like. Yeah. Not only, like, on an everyday deal, like, could, like, a handful of anglers separate themselves by generating more bites, right? Mm -hmm. But now you add forward fishing sonar, which was never around when this format was originally created. True. 100%. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's even a bigger gap. Hey, imagine forward facing sonar on Table Rock when Amart won. Oh. Or when... when you won. I know. I know. I know. I'm I was sitting there cutie. thinking like. Dropping on them. Do, zzz, you were do, literally zzz, trolling zzz. on top of them, dropping on them, and caught on like them. 140 pounds. Yeah. You would have caught 300 pounds. Yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> anyway, we're going on a tangent. Uh, that's our thoughts but, on the format change. Do you think that? Do you think Do you think it was changed? Do you think it was a big catalyst was because of Ford Fish and so on? I will, I will yeah. say this. Yeah. He was. Yeah. And I, that wasn't I, necessarily. I, I agree. I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes. It was a bigger separation than ever before. Yeah. Well, I understand that, but I will. I will say this: <laughs> four phase sonar would not have changed any result in five fish limits on Champlain when you won. No, you would have blew that tournament out. You would have had, mm -hmm. I would say, probably eighty, eighty six pounds. Four I'd have to get back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You'd, he'd had twenty one plus a day, twenty two plus. Mm -hmm. You'd have won a four four day five fish limit. I would have won Cayuga. Cayuga. No I would have probably won Millax. I yep. had 28 pounds in my best five. <laughs> Demolished them. So, like, 
the biggest argument okay smallmouth it does not matter no four fishing sonars like in a five fish limit you have that four fishing sonar in an every fish cast format you have to have a four fishing sonar that's the thing you have now if you know if you if you're competing i'm gonna say damn near at the bfl level or higher you better have you better hat you, you, i'm not gonna you, say you, bfl level well why I don't, you know, I don't, hey i bet you i guarantee you roll up to any bfl on any of them lakes like in the Midwest, them up, them upland reservoirs. Them boys knows what's up. Del Palo, places yeah. like that. You think them boys? Hey, boy, they got four hey, faces on Del Palo. They had a Toyota there. Every one, every of one was. Fresh. That's what I'm saying. But you think okay, them boys uh, but, ain't got? But, but you also have to look at Santee. You have to take into account Santee Cooper. You have to take into account Okeechobee. You have to take into account. Yeah, you don't need it for them places. Exactly. That's apples and so oranges. It's a very situational thing. It's like yeah, yeah, that's what I said. The Upland Reservoir. Yeah, Highland Reservoir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, you is, better have it. All right, yeah, so I'm going right. to throw this disclaimer one last time. So we went on a tangent. I will say this. I take my lumps on – I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. My weaknesses is spawning tournaments, Okay. I don't like catching them on bed. I can catch them on bed. I've caught them on bed for years. I, I don't like doing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, but when I get my head beat in on a spawning tournament, you know what I do? I take that lump. I'm going to be mad about it. I'm probably going to sling a little bit of gravel out of the parking lot. I'm going to call my wife, say a few select words, and I'm going to go home. Straight I'm going to tuck my tail. Yeah. But when, when these guys get beat on four faces sonar, the first thing they want to do is get on social media and whine and cry and go on YouTube and be, I was about to say a name on YouTube. Ooh, don't, do it, hey, boy, don't do it, boy. Hey, boy, don't do it. But they literally want to whine and cry about it. And I'm like, I took my lump. Why don't you take yours? Straight up. I mean, that's just like, that's, that's what it is. Shit. Yeah. yeah. That's just it. It's just what it is. I'm probably going to lose sponsors now, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci, bro. Am hey. I right? No, Mark's daddy's over here. Am I right or wrong? This is true. Yes, yeah. sir. 100%. That's real talk. Bro. Anyway, continue with the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, hey, hey. Hey, we didn't ruin J Dub podcast, bro. Oh, hey, we may not even get the best one. Sure in, drop it, bro. I love live, you. live hey, for YouTube live. Here we are. I don't. My know. rant is done. Okay, so now that we've got all that positivity out of there, <laughs> hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Let's step into the 2023 season, the Bass Pro Tour. What is this? The uh, what is it? The fifth, fifth, fifth season. season. Okay, so we are going back to where it all started, Lake Tahopa Kalija or the Kissimmee Chain, and we are starting the year off here. Yes. Okay, now we are actually right now here at Lake Tahopa Kalija in, in the Kissimmee Chain, pre-practicing for the first event of the season um, with a five fish limit tournament. You know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different. You know, I feel like yeah. it's gonna come to a point where. Um, also, you know, weather plays a huge role. The hugest. Mark, get in there. Get a picture. Oh, I sent my wife. So she didn't Never mind. I'm at. <laughs> so, okay. Smart projection. Man. Obviously, what's your what's your thoughts? You know, on the first term of the season, I want to hear. I want to hear just a little bit of overview. Like, where do you feel like? What do you feel about it? What do you, you know now? Now it's like. Um, positive is it tough you think it's gonna be a what do you think man i you know it's tough to say you know we 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 come here a lot we've been here a lot mm -hmm. we've been here this time of year a lot february pre-spawn mm -hmm. which is low-key like winter time it is. down here it is. with high susceptibility to cold fronts Mm -hmm. And so the highest, the highest, when you think of Florida, we all think of flip flops to shorts. I'm about to mm -hmm. come punch a mat and catch a nine pounder. And it just ain't that here, man. Um, this place could be really, really tough, really hard to generate bites, but I like, I like the challenge of, yeah. of the Kissimmee child. I really do. And there's a lot of options, a lot of water out there. Um, and at the end of the day, now that we're going back to five, a lot slower pace, let me go make that 30 mile run. Let me lock through. Let me go check. The, you know, let me go do these small, intricate things cool. that I may not have done before. So I am looking forward to that. And, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, man, there's, there's 10 pounders swimming around, man. So I might dog my cricket on top of one's head. You never know. 100%. So, That's my so, so my question is 
is is is Florida in the month of February one of the most overrated states? Oh, it ain't even one back. of. Okay. It's the. It's like I, I, I want. They're gonna that. title this DC Rampage. <laughs> I will tell you all this, okay? I, can I chime in? Oh, I don't want to cut you. You got the floor. I'm done. Okay. The floor is yours. I love all my Florida fishermen. I got to throw that out there for y'all. But it's all it's the two-week rule. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Oh, do I? Should have been here two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, y'all smashing? All right. Guess what? Should have been here. Man, if y'all have came two weeks from now, I'd have been on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's it gonna be? Let's time everywhere out, do that. Time out. I can come back two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, just, I can't rewind two weeks ago. But like, if you think two weeks from now is gonna be the the deal, yeah, I'll be back. I, I could drive down here. I'll get in with you. <laughs> right. Please prove me wrong. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> two, it's two weeks from now. Two weeks ago, I don't know. I'm ready to hit it on top of the head. Somebody showed me something in Florida that gives me a little bit of hope. Uh, today, I went fishing all day. I had 14 pounds, best five. That's just, I mean, that's just, I don't know. But guess hey, what? If I'd have caught, hey, time out, though. This is Florida for you. If I'd have caught an 862 and had 22 pounds, oh. hero oh. of the day. Oh my God! Leading had a d amazing day. Hey, Leedens. No, he didn't. Leedens. Twenty two. He probably, probably uh, second. Hey, hold on. Here's a side what, bet. I'll give y'all side bet. What, what side month? Twenty <laughs> two. No, you, 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 might, you might or might not be leading. What? That's what's crazy. You, you could be leaving. You, you could be lead, You could literally be in second place with twenty eight pounds. But you get. I'll tell you this. You top five for sure. You, you could. You could be second place with twenty eight, or you could be second with eighteen. Mm -hmm. That's what's crazy about. It. That is what's crazy about. Yeah, it. Like yeah. literally, you could go and you could catch twenty eight pounds of them. But I'll tell you what, you know what's crazy is 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 somebody like whoever leads day one in these like a lot of these tournaments, they, like for the most part, you see them. They just they don't win. Yeah, it's so hard to it's be like consistent. Bro. Eight seven. Yeah, it's like whoa. That's legit. That's too. what it is. Yeah. So that's what's gonna make it seven. really interesting in this scenario. Hey. For an A, seven for like four, though. <laughs> you ain't catch five, bro. You have four. Hey, what was one of them was a good one, yeah. Hey, hey three like swamp bass and one on a shaky head against <laughs> that wall at Toho Marina. <laughs> that break wall. Hey. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Hey, hey, JT Kenny, I'm going to give you a shout out, big dog. He knew he wouldn't mind to catch him no more. He just stayed in Toho and just laid up hard. <laughs> yeah. He did. He's a local here. <laughs> he said, hey, no way. Hey, no way. He just hit blackjack two times in a row. Uh-uh. I'm good. I'm laying uh -uh. down $10. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Minimum bet, boy. Hey. Hey, and one, too. Uh, you know, so one, one, JT, so when JT won, when he won. He had 27 or 28 pounds. 29. 29. Or then he had like 22. 22. Then he had like seven. He went back to Kissimmee. Yep. He had seven. Yep. And then he went, I think he went to Toho. The final day, he had like 10, nine 10. or 10 pounds. Yep. But I think he still went back to Kissimmee. He's pretty, I, I, I'm pretty sure he did at some point in time. Yeah, but he got the majority of them. So what you're telling me, Toho, the Kissimmee chain, is the house. The house will always win in the end. <laughs> if you get lucky two days, she rough on you. Oh, you, you, you okay, in good okay. shape. Obviously, oh, it's, it's, shape. it's difficult to project what it's going to take to win because it's so weather-related. But I'm going to give a, a a really early guesstimate weight of what your thought is. What would you be good with in two days if you made the you know knockout round, championship round? What is your projection? What would you sit on the sideline with for two days? For two days, you're talking about for a win, for the win. For the I, dub. I'm, I'm gonna say thirty four pounds, eight ounces. You you stay on the sideline for thirty thirty four eight. I mean, I'd stay on the sideline for forty two pounds, but yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. realistic. Yeah, I don't right. think. Um, right. I would say after four or f four days of hardcore fishing, mm -hmm. um. Forty boats, forty boats, forty boats, forty boats, boats. Um, I'm gonna say thirty-five pounds. You got to win. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna say that. Thirty-five. That's a, that's a that's a damn good guess too. It's also what I said last night, though. Yeah. Copycat. 
I feel uh, 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 that. Another disclaimer: I have seen and follow. I like. I, I kind of follow bass fishing. I enjoy watching the weights. I like. I love seeing this. I fished my first open here in 2014. Ain't nothing changed about the Kissimmee chain. You catch 14 pounds a day in an open, you're in championship round. 100 percent fact. Mm-hmm. In Two days point, round. Point blank period. Especially with that many boats. Definitely. All right. And and the winning weights and mm-hmm. opens for three days are typically like. What? 45. Maybe 40, 47, like 40, 48, 48 pounds. 44 to like 50 pounds. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Typically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 44 to 50 pounds. That's yeah. like 16, 17 pounds a day yeah. average. No, 100%. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you telling me after four days of them getting their heads caved in, the two straight days, I'm going to say pro- probably less than 35 pounds. I mean, you can say 16 two days in a row, 16. 32, 33 pounds. Don't don't be surprised. Okay. Yeah, hey, I can see that. So, yeah. Mark, well, what's your number? All right, my, but um, with that being said. All right, Mark, since since DC did such a good job on that one, what do you think it's going to take to make the cut in the knockout round? Ooh. This is like pre, this is like pre, pre-tournament. Top, top, top 10. 10. Okay. So, after like four. After two days of fishing, just a one-day shootout, top correct. 10. Top 10. What's 10th place weight going to be? 10th place. Out of 40 anglers, because you know 10 of them are going to fall on their face. And I'll probably, if I make the knockout round, I'll probably be one of them. 10th place is going to be 15-10. Gosh, dang. I'm going to say negative on that. 15-10. <laughs> out of 20, out of 20 anglers? Out of, no, out of 40. Out, out of 40, 40 15, anglers, 15-10. It all, it's all weather dependent. This is I'm going to say the under. I'm going to say the under. Well, give me a number. Yeah, give it up. We, we so early, it don't I'm, matter I'm, now. I'm, I'm going to say that. I mean, I'm, keep in mind, 15 between 12. I don't think 12 will be in. I don't think 15 will be in. So, I'm going to say like 14 is 13. Four, I would say 13 will be low. I would say 14, 3. 15 is actually a good guess. I went high on the 15, though. 10, 15, 10. You went high for 15. 15 and a half, yeah. I, I, I ain't got that much faith. Yeah, you're probably right. Honestly. Well, I would, say, I like, I would say like 15, 14s would be the actual the number. Probably right. Like, I think I went a little high, but I it could and it hey. could be as low as twelves, and it could be as high as sixteens, but I, I don't think it's gonna be more than sixteen. It don't twelve. <laughs> it's a toughie. Anyway, so so we're gonna have a tough one because floors always and, and this is the this is the crazy thing. Sorry guys, we were on, we went on like a rant of, of of multiple things, but this is this is the facts behind this. <clears throat> No matter if you're a veteran angler and your name's Kevin Van Dam or you're a a rookie, um, you never truly can get rid of the fear of Florida. Oh, yeah, man. And knowing that you have to come out of here with a good finish. Oh. Angler of the year, red crest qualifications, all of this starts <laughs> Getting at chance. this tournament. <laughs> exactly. Keeping the lights on <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Preach to him. So this, this, I'm not a spam. They don't know about that, bro. I That's the real there. part. Hey, for real though, the number one thing for me is just get a check. Straight up. In in this particular event, in, in Florida in general, it's very difficult, in, in, especially this time of the year. Yeah. Now, two months later, it's a lot more predictable. You have a lot of the cold fronts out of the way. Fish moved you, up. You have fish that are spawned. You yeah. have post spawn fish. You have shad spawn fish. Right. You got a good combination of it all. Yeah. All right. So jumping into, we we had a pretty good idea of. <laughs> I'm trying to get some positivity going on here, and and, and the next and the next. Hey, we've been on a rampage, guys. I'm hey. sorry, y'all. We've been fishing hey, all day on Toho. We've been on a rampage. <laughs> listen, listen. We went hard. Negative Nancy's. Mm-hmm. Hey man, hashtag it's okay. <laughs> so this is the thing. Second stop is Douglas and Cherokee. So this is a unique situation. This tournament it will be very unique. We won't be able to go through the whole season real quick here. Talking about it, we'll probably go to the third, the third tournament. I'll, I'll talk about one more event. But real quick here to dial in and, and give you guys an understanding of what's going to go on at, at Douglas and Cherokee. First two days or first four days of competition, your group A and group B will compete on Douglas. Okay. Your top 20 from each group A and group B will advance to the knockout round which will be on Cherokee, and then the championship will be on Cherokee. So the tournament will be determined on Cherokee. You got good history there. 
I, I, Me and you both have good history. We do. A good old team partner. <laughs> it's my team partner right here. Hey, I'm the captain now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a good time. We're going to be buddies. <laughs> I tell you, dude. That was it. Yeah, unbelievable. He <laughs> rolled, of all the people he rolls, he literally drove past nine boats and was like, there's DC. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Uh, anyway, here's my thoughts on uh, Douglas uh, Cherokee. I, phenomenal lakes. Mm-hmm. Freaking got them, dude. Like, Douglas yeah. has more largemouth than a ton of places. I remember a long time ago, like in 2015? No, 2016. Dude, there were some giant schools there. Remember that? That place oh, chock full of fish. It's, it has, it's chock full of them. It's going to take some weight at Douglas. Um, I think we're hitting it at a great time of year. Set up to be a pre-spawn deal. Pre-spawn. Be yeah, be heavy pre-spawn. Heavy pre-spawn. Heavy pre-spawn. Uh, there'll be some big smallmouth caught on Cherokee. I think the tournament is won by smallmouth. Um, but I don't know, man. You're talking about a two-day tournament. That's what we're fishing. To win the trophy, you need to catch them two days. That's it. Well, you have to catch them to qualify to get in. Yeah, but on that tournament, you just go. Let's say you're a square bill, dingy water guy on Dandridge, out of, out of uh, Douglas. Mm-hmm. You go square bill, dingy water on Douglas, make the make the knockout. Square bill, dingy water on Cherokee, catch you 17, 18, two days in a row. You win it. You hold a trophy. One hundred percent can definitely go down Probably. like that. Yep, I want. I I definitely agree with there you. you that. So that's how it is. Yeah. Cherokee, Cherokee's. A, I mean, both Douglas and Cherokee. Now, I've heard Douglas has gone downhill. I'm not has gone in a downward cycle as far as quality, right? As of late, you know, it's not it's not putting out those twenty pound plus bags that it used to back in the fifteens and or, you know twelve to fifteen. Um, but it is ha- it does have an insane number of fish in it. Really good population of bass. So it's on the upturn of. Of numbers, a lot of numbers, but those fish have to grow up. So, mm-hmm. I would assume, you know, it's not going to take a lot of weight as far as, qual- you know, to qualify for the next qualify, round. Yeah. But, like, 12 pounds a day will probably be, like, catch them. Two and a half pounders, average. Two and a half, two and three quarters, you know, you're going to be good ones. Right. Mm-hmm. So, now, Cherokee, different. Obviously, three pound average is going to be a big deal. Oh, for sure, small but, but both of them are both now. But but the 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 the, the whole thing. Everybody thinks smallmouth, but that largemouth bite on oh. Cherokee, he he lit too. Mm. Like while y'all was doing all that all that Demikian, I was fishing largemouth in that <laughs> you tournament. Were. You caught a link five? I caught a five pounder. Yeah, I had I had big bass. Five eighty something? Or uh, five? No, I was. I think it was five even. Five even. Yeah, cranking, but uh. Cherokee got a great population. Of, it does a they, large they mouth do. as well. That uh, that whole little area, all them lakes were freaking awesome. Yeah, they really hey, are. Speaking of square bill, if you guys remember, crochet led day one. He did Cherokee square billing. Yeah, like remember that? Uh, nineteen. I did, I remember nineteen. That. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. it in case nobody knew this, our my first professional tournament. Your first elite series tournament, your first elite series tournament yeah. was on Cherokee. On Cherokee, mm-hmm. yeah. Fun Pretty fact. Cool. Fun fact, if you want to jot that down in your notes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. 2017. Yeah. It was it was snowing at Blast Off. Hey, for real, that's going to be it was. Uh, it was cool. Mm-hmm. I haven't really got really excited about that tournament yet, but I'm freaking just getting lit. I'm pumped. Oh, yeah. About yeah. That. I love free spawn fishing. Mm-hmm. I love that. And I like I like when the league I don't know what makes them decide to do this or not. I Why guess it's just lake pro- proximity. I like when they do that. I like when we go to multiple lakes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. Switch so I actually want to ask ask the viewers out there. When MLF goes to multiple lakes in a single event, what's your thoughts? Do you like it? Just give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. It just gives me an understanding of like, you know, like I think I think I like it as well. I yeah, think yeah. it's something unique. I think it also gives the the viewers not only six days of, of live coverage on the same body of water, the same thing. Right. I think it shows them something different. Changes I think it, it up. Makes sense. Keeps us on our toes. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, it yes. throws curveballs. I, I like it. I think I think it adds something to it. But, I mean, I also, I also like to stay on the same body of water and get a – get an understanding of what's going on, making an adjustments, and in and, and, and that, you know, take the luck factor out of it. I, you know, I see yeah. both sides of it. So, yeah. but anyway, so drop a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are on that because – 
we're always we're always listening. So I, I think Turkey is gonna be a good one. And then the final event now before we're gonna pre- preview anyway is is Lake Murray. Lake Murray, South Did Carolina. You forget, right, Craig? Mm. Well, we're not gonna preview that one. That's a special preview. Oh, we're doing a special preview. We're doing a special preview. Let's talk about Murray. Let's talk about this is the 2023 season. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about Murray. Um uh, Lake Murray. Spawning spawning bass. I think it's the first week of it is on a full moon. Yeah. Oh, I, I cannot wait. First week of April, docks. I can't wait to go in and out of dock slips and see them behind docks. I cannot wait hey, for them to not know you. My bait. I already know you love in the fact that we go in there during spawn. I love, I love pitching at a bass <laughs> seventeen thousand times. I love that. I really do. I love it. Which and I wait. love hooking them, and then whenever I get them in the boat, they're like a pound less than what I thought they was. <laughs> And then I wasted 42 minutes on them. I absolutely love that. Oh, what about when they hooked on the outside of the mouth? I love letting them go and smiling. Hey, there you go. Hey. <laughs> I love that. Knowing that you'll never get him so again. never for the end of my, my time and my fishing. I like somebody comment below and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Everybody honestly just gets their rocks off. They literally are just sitting here dancing and cheering and screaming and yelling about, oh, my God, they're on bed. Oh, my God, they're on bed. They're on bed, y'all. <laughs> you know what that means? Oh, they're not biting tired. nothing. Yeah. It hey. sucks. <laughs> they don't, they're don't. they on bed for a reason because they don't want to bite. And the only time anybody ever <laughs> no, catches no. one on bed is because they're mad. They're not yeah. hungry. Piss them off. Like, you were. like we've literally forgot they that will like bite the him. best bait, I mean the best weights <laughs> ever in bass fishing is pre spawn and post spawn. In the story, point yep. blank period. I don't even care. Go to Gunnersville during the spawn and go to Gunnersville uh, three and a half weeks after. Mm-hmm. Tell me what weights are better. Oh yeah. Why is everybody so hooping and hollering about the spawn? It sucks. They want to look at them, bro. Well, I everybody think, I think that's that. a combination, yeah. and then I think it also is the fact of like OGs and and, and like listen the thing. All right, when you think of like the majority of fishermen, okay, they want to fish the bank, yeah, which is they don't have all electronics, they don't have all, right. and this is something they always ask for. They're like, hey, look, we want a couple tournaments where live scope does not play and mm-hmm. our active target doesn't play. You got spawn, you got a couple spawn tournaments here. That is the the time when you literally are looking in with your eyes or. You're blind fishing, and you're not looking at your grass. You're not staring I, down at the grass. It don't even matter, though. They're still going to whine. Guess what? My guy won with a flogger, and they was still hooping and hollering. Hey. hey it's going to be something. It's always going to be something. Tra- hey, be something. Hazard traffic cone. Unreal. <laughs> hazard. So I'll hazard. This. Long story short, Murray, I'm excited about it. I fished one tournament there. Um, chalk full of biggins. It's got big ins, dude. That tournament's going to take some weight. Mark, have you fished there? I've been there one time. 2008, Forest Wood Cup. I was a co-angler, though. Oh. Uh, Michael Bennett won that joint. Dang. I ain't been there since then, bro. Long time. Wow. But, yeah, I mean, I, but, of course, I follow the game, of course, and uh, there's been a lot of quality fish pulled out of that lake. Okay, so I was there last fall for the <clears throat> Black Bass World Championship, and, um, yeah, that sucker's really good. Like, I, I'm going to be honest with you, like, probably – um, <clears throat> top five in the country. Wow! Right now, as far as my 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 opinion, as far as quality of fish. Now, my, I'm not talking about like thirty pound bags or anything. I'm talking about like twenty plus pound bags. Yeah, or like 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 eighteen, like high teens to twenty yeah, yeah, yeah. twos. Solid bags. I, that place is unbelievable. Okay. Like, and that was in the fall when it was like now it wasn't as good then. You know, you would think you know, but it was it, it just how many three pounders were in there. You're just like, uh oh, yeah, uh oh. She on an uphill swing. Uh, yeah, I would say it's gonna probably take like fourteen plus to even get a check. I'm excited about that. That's gonna be it, it's it's gonna be That's very awesome. very fun. So. That's it, guys. We have uh, a lot of work to do. We got some pre-practicing to do. Hopefully, yes, you guys sir. enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun. Of course, do me a favor if you don't already subscribe to the channel and then make sure to check out my guys right here to my right and left. We will drop a link uh, to their channels um, below. I appreciate it, guys. I'm excited to get this yes, season sir. going. We got Enjoy some work it. to do. It's time. Y'all comment below of all, all the rampages we had tonight. I feel good about <laughs> oh, it. all hey, the rampages. We, 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 hey, when we get off this podcast, we're going to have some more too. 
I cannot wait. Yeah, we about to we about to go crazy. Well, man, look, I mean, we could be fake, but we're just not. We're just gonna throw it out there. Um, I will say this last disclaimer. I am fully in support of the new format change. I am too. I'm excited I mean, about yeah. it. I feel good about uh, it. Yeah. And yeah. for all the naysayers out there, um, five fish limits. We grew up catching five fish. I'm excited about it. Oh, but this, this is what we do to me. This is what we do. This is what we do. We Literally. Catch bass. Yeah. So I know <laughs> this guy. I mean, look, man. I hope you catch him in five. Yeah. Hey. I mean, uh, hey. No. What they say? I hope they you look. can count. I hope you can count to five. I hope you can count to yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good luck, bud. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we will see you on the next one. We out.